is Miss Gina. We are going to learn about being a good neighbor. A neighbor is someone who lives near you or even right next door to you. When you see a neighbor, you should always be nice. How can you show kindness? That's good. When I want to be nice, I try to always say hello. Now we're going to look at Matthew chapter 22 verses 15 through 23 and 34 through 39. There was a group of people who were very smart called the Pharisees. They did not like Jesus that much because he was smarter than them. So they got together and had a meeting to come up with a plan to trick Jesus. Who would want to trick Jesus? The Pharisees thought, hmm, let's see. If we can just get him to say something bad, he can be arrested and go to jail. Then we don't have to be bothered with him anymore. Since Jesus never lied, the plan had to be a really good one and make him tell the truth by saying something that could get him into trouble. Jesus knew they were not being nice and said to them, why are you trying to trick me? They just looked at each other, but did not answer him. The Pharisees were shocked because they were busted. Jesus knew all about their plan. They knew they were caught, so they just walked away. That same day, another group called Sadducees, and Jesus was probably sad to see them coming, came up to him and also tried to trick him with what they thought was a very hard question. But he was smarter than them too and answered it. Jesus knows everything. And they did not like that. So they joined together with their neighbors, the Pharisees, to ask Jesus one last question. One of them, an expert in the rules of the Bible, tried to trap Jesus with this question. He said, teacher, which is the most important commandment which was the rules of the Bible in the law of Moses. Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is just as important. Love your neighbor as yourself. Whatever you do to yourself is the same thing you should do to your neighbor. So who is your neighbor? Correct. It's any person you see who lives near you. In order to be not just a neighbor, but a good neighbor, is simply being there to care about someone. Even when you don't know exactly what to do, treat others how you want them to treat you. So what did we learn today? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And to love your neighbor as yourself. Now let's pray. Dear God, help me to treat others the same way I want to be treated. Amen. Until next time, bye.